Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to go back and review this idea of drawing to show a certain number by using 10 ones and extra ones. Let's get started by thinking about the number 11. If we have to draw this using 10 ones, what do we know that is the same as 10 ones? Well, 10 ones is the same as our 10 rods because this shows 10 ones. Let's count to make sure. One, whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. So when it asks us to draw ten ones, it's the same thing as drawing a ten rod. Now we have to stop and think extra ones. Well, the extra ones is the number that you see when you look at the unit space. So when we look at this number, 11, we see that it is 10 and then it has one unit. So if I'm going to draw extra ones, I really just have to draw one more one or one more unit. So let's go back and check our work. It says I need to draw to show the number 11 using 10 ones and extra ones. So here I see 10 ones and then one extra one. When I group that all together, I would count 10 and one more makes 11. So I know that this is correct. Let's go on to another one. In this, in this one, let's draw to show the number 13. Once again, we're told to use 10 ones and then extra ones. Well, let's analyze or break down 13. 13 is the same as one group of 10 and three units. So that's what we're supposed to show here. 10 ones is the same as one group of 10. Now, we simply have to show the extra ones. Well, if I have 10, if I have 10, one more makes 11 and another makes 12 and one more makes 13. So I have drawn this showing 10 ones and these are my extra ones. And all together, I have 13. 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's practice one more time. In this example, let's do a number that's greater. Let's do the number 18. Once again, we're going to draw to show 18 using 10 ones and extra ones. 18 is 10, and then now I'm going to use the extra ones. Let's do 1 makes 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have drawn to show 18 using 10 ones. Here are my 10 ones and extra ones. Here are the extra ones. A shortcut I could have taken was understanding that 8 represents the number of units, which is the same as extra ones. So 8 is all I needed to count to make this a true statement. I could also use the strategy of putting or drawing my 10 and counting on and stopping once I got to 18. Let's do one final one. And then you can go off and do these on your own. In this example, let's draw to show 
15. Once again, we need to draw using 10 ones. Here are my 10 ones. And then my extra ones. Let's use that strategy where I just look to see how many units. What number is this? Five. So then it's all I have to do is count five units. One, two, three, four, five. Now I want to check my work to make sure I have 15. Here's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There you have it. This has been practicing drawing to show a number using 10 ones and then extra ones. Now it'll be time for you to practice. Have fun.